Hey guys, here we have another video of me getting ready just because for the sake of it I can. Um, I wanted to do a look with the BH Pop Art palette because I haven't really played with it that much. But here I am applying my foundation by Rimmel London. I think it's a 25 hour party proof one. I love this one because it's my fullest coverage one that I own. And as you can see I've got quite a lot of acne and redness that I need to cover up. Just blending it all in and using my beauty blender sponge thingo. I'm not sure what brand this one is actually, it's not the Real Techniques one but it's similar. Sometimes with the Beauty Blender I find that it's not as full coverage as I want so I go in with my fingers just to pat it in and make sure that it's not showing any redness and the likes. I'm just setting that all in place with my pressed powder by Mode Cosmetic. I absolutely love this powder. They're the same company that's brought out by Australis Heritage Brand and they're cruelty free. $3 people. Go and get yourself one because it's really, really good. I need to go and buy myself another one of this because the nib's broken um, but it's a W7 cosmetics brand the diffusing light concealer I love this stuff it is awesome a lot in this so I'm now going to prime my eyes with the Savvy by DB primer pencil thing it's the white one it's really good for 
not as much of work as I thought. <laughs> but I'll list everything down below if I can think of that all I do. Gotta get that hair out of my face because it's annoying the crap out of me. I hate sweaty hair in my face because it's really really hot today and meh. Here I'm just using my eBay eyebrow pencil. I love this thing. It's the perfect shade for me and it makes my eyebrows look somewhat on fleek for me. So I love it. I'll link it down below in the seller that I bought it from. It's fantastic! Using my BH palette, I'm starting off with a light colour eyeshadow, I believe, just to set my concealer or primer in place. going in with a slightly darker shade just to deepen up my crease a little bit and to make the colour blend more. Now in the crease I just applied a very light kind of shimmery, I think it's called a kind of pearlescent green. I actually really really love this colour. I've just gone from the crease to the inner and the outer corners of my eyes.
I'm just packing on some of that primer that I used before in the center of my eyelids just to brighten up that area more. Now I'm packing on the darker eyeshadow and this is so lovely, I just love this colour, it's, oh, I love it. I added a little bit of light brown from the designer brand's rose gold palette and it, it turns it into this stunning khaki green colour. So I just loved how it looked in the end and it helped to blend out more. From that same DB palette, I'm just adding the white highlight to my arch of my brow and my inner corner of my eyes. As you can tell, I cannot get enough of the highlight. So off camera I quickly did my eyeliner just because I'm not that comfortable doing it on camera yet really. I used my L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Eyeliner or Gel Eyeliner actually and this little brush thing -o. Now I'm starting to warm up my face a bit with the Designer Brands Pro Contour Kit. I start with the light shade and then work towards the, you know, perfecting my contour.
using a Rimmel London, I think it's the 3D lash brush. I love this mascara so, so much. it didn't film when I was doing the highlighting bit and my lip liner but I used the elf one I think in the color bitten the velour lip in Dubai or I will be using and the highlighter which is the Etude House secret beam one and I used my eBay fan brush Thanks for watching guys, this is the finished look. Please comment down below if you enjoyed it. Thumbs up. I do up. hope you enjoyed these um, makeup looks. For new videos I enjoy and filming so them. Please subscribe for more and I'll see you soon. In the Bye. Thunderstorm. I'm not sure if you heard the thunder.